What's up guys? Welcome back to Modded RimWorld. In today's episode, we're going to continue working on the housing situation. We're probably going to go ahead and get started with building these little houses over here, as well as uh, maybe some, some defenses out here, out in this section, and possibly another one out here. Um, I realize that's keeping us very safe, but I mean, if you could do this, if you were building a colony, and you could get a siege, for instance, you would totally get sieged. Um, <laughs> if you could defend your colony in a way where you would never have to put your colonists in harm's way, you would totally do that. I realize that may not be super entertaining, but then again, I always like hearing the sound of the 240 Bravo going off just at dawn, reminding all of the tribals that we have proper weapons, and they don't. Um, <laughs> before, before we get into the game, I'm not even going to click the siege message yet. Siege message. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to click it yet because there are a couple things I want to talk about. The first of which is uh, actually, I guess, the first of which I can talk about in a little bit. Uh, the The main thing I wanted to mention was I got a suggestion regarding the cooling situation, the heating and cooling situation, rather, and that is that if they're both set to the same temperature, that they will typically fight each other quite a bit, which I'm taking it as they're both going to be in high power usage more frequently, uh, so it's just going to be a bigger drain on power overall. Uh, so you can see that one's set to 70, and then that one is also set to 70. They're kind of alternating right now with, you know, the heaters on high, and then the coolers on low. And then, uh, well, I guess right now it's really cold outside. Um, but this will probably toggle on a high. I don't want to unpause it just because siege. Um, but I, I believe the person that told me. That's the most important part. Uh, and there's, their solution was just to offset it by at least 4 degrees. Uh, that way the, the cooler and heater won't necessarily fight each other so much. So we're going to go with all of the coolers. And then we're going to go ahead and uncheck that little guy keeping our med kits cool as well as our freezer. And I'm actually going to bump them up to 76. Did I do 76 or is that 74? Can't tell. What are you at? No, what are you at? You're at 76. Okay, so we're going to put all of our coolers up to 76. The heaters are all going to stay at 70. That should keep everyone nice and comfy during uh, all times of the year. I feel good about that. I feel good about that. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, so, we, we do have a siege coming in, and I, I'm kind of ignoring that right now because I'm kind of scared. Um, because mortars are OP in combat realism. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. We're waiting for cotton. That's the biggest thing. We're waiting for cotton for our rugs, for our floors, uh, and then once we get the cotton, we can start putting some furniture and stuff in here. I wouldn't mind having a little light, maybe just a little end table, a little, like, bamboo end table, uh, just kind of over here in the corner, which needs cloth. Maybe just a lamp in the corner. <laughs> we'll put, like, a plant pot in this one or something. We'll get some furniture in here. Maybe if we can get a TV, we'll, we'll put a TV in there at some point. Uh, these guys over here, they're going to have their nice little chair on the patio sort of thing. Uh, they're going to have decent sized rooms, actually. These up here right next to the the tea garden is actually kind of like our little cottage area, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe these are the, the singles apartments. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't. <laughs> let's let's just go with the siege. How about we just we just go with the siege? Shanker party, they've arrived. They're gonna besiege the colony. Oh really? We have mortars too, girls. If you guys come within range of this guy, they're not going to. But that would be great. Uh, Faded penguin, how are you doing on on sleep? You're actually okay. Faded penguin, if you would like to come, mortar some people as well as maybe who's awake? Denoya. To know you wants to come mortar some people. And Endovier? Uh, he's going to need some rest soon. Moondaren. Moondaren wants to incendiary some people. This should be good, guys. It should be good. Now, the, the next thing I wanted to talk about was actually... Uh, and I'm going to turn these on in case they decide to come up here. Um, was I got a, a suggestion or a comment saying, Hey, check out the Zombies mod for RimWorld. I have played with the Zombies mod before. It's in an older stream. The video should be up somewhere. I don't know if I actually properly named it uh, RimWorld with Zombies. Uh, but there should be a, a video on demand, if you will, for the channel, or on the channel rather, for the the Zombies, the modded Zombies playthrough sort of thing. Uh, we did it for a few episodes. It was kind of entertaining at first. But I didn't like it enough to just do, kind of like what I'm doing with this right now, where I'm just doing continuous seasons. Uh, one ends, I'll just start the next one. Those look really, really good. That was pretty good. That looks pretty good, too. Okay. Shrapnel, great. I love these more. <laughs> I love them so much. 
I love him so much. Uh, so what I was thinking of doing is, in addition to this modded, that's the most important thing I want to stress right now, in addition to this modded series, so this one's going to continue, uh, I would possibly be doing just like a, a one-off season or an occasional season of, uh, of zombies, RimWorld. Okay, they're going to assault the colony, which is fine. Duxter, if you could just stay there. What are you building? Oh, you're tilling the soil. Alright, and you guys, if you want to just... I don't know. Keep doing your thing, honestly. That was almost a pretty good hit. They're going to flee. Okay, that's great. Satan, walking out into danger to get those watermelons. <laughs> Are you going to get someone? Almost. Almost. Viper's going to die, but we can totally capture Lolly. Let's capture Lolly. Okay, you guys can stop firing, though. Why is that one going so slow? Oh, because you're just going right there. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm glad you guys are doing that. Please stop firing the mortars, though. I mean, they're not. I know they're not force attacking. I just want them to not attack. Okay, Penguin, you're loaded up. You can go. You leave. Are you loaded up? No. I'm going to micro this before I continue talking about what I was talking about. Okay, that... You go. You go. There we go. Okay. For some reason, I thought she was dead. Everything's fine. Mendez, what's wrong? What happened? You're feeling fuzzy. Oh, your ear. That's right. I'm sorry. Okay, so, yes. Uh, zombies. Doing zombies in addition to this, so it would be like... Uh, I would probably play on... Uh, on rough or easy just because the zombie hordes got pretty intense uh, and it would just be kind of like casually playing with zombies included so if that's something you guys would be interested in again it would be in addition to the modded series so that would continue uh, it would just be an extra modded room world a day just a new colony with zombies so yeah if you're interested let me know in the comments uh, it's just something I'm thinking about doing trying to give you guys more rim world which you all really enjoy that's why most of you are here. I, I don't I don't know where I'm going with that part. I understand that's why most of you are here. Is what I was trying to say. I was just trying to say it in a very weird way. Uh, let's turn our turrets off, please. Thank you. Thank thank you thank you. Someone did it. Uh Lolly over here. Are you okay? Are you missing anything? You're not actually missing anything. Are you good at stuff? Growing and mining you're really good at. Uh, jogger, Green Thumb, Psychopath, that's nice, and capable of intellectual and crafting. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. Let's capture you. 91, that's alright. We'll chat and recruit. I'll even give you good medicine. That is not her room. Who did that? Sticker, that is not her room. <laughs> Sticker's like, I don't care. <laughs> she should be glad she gets food, period. There we go. Did you get, you get patched up nicely? You did. You didn't even get hit by the uh, by the mortars. You made it all the way in here without the mortars hitting you at all. Hay's coming in, which is great. Bamboo should be coming in shortly. Uh, how's our cotton doing? This area got finished nicely. This still needs to get planted, but that's okay. It's a little bit cold. We still have the volcanic winter going on. Our pineapples look delicious, by the way. I really enjoy pineapple. Fresh pineapple is amazing. Now, what do we got going on? We have tofu. We have smoothies. We have fruit drinks. We have a, a grumpy mega scarab right there. I'm okay with this. I'll flick these on. Uh, what else do we have? We should have like tea in here somewhere. We have some milk. There's some tea. We have some tea. That's flour. Uh, cheese. We have tacos. Lots of tacos. I have been asked to give you guys some ice cream. I was going to say I have been requested, but that just... That doesn't make sense, guys. I have been requested. I guess if someone requested me personally, then that would make sense. But not in the context that I'm using. <laughs> uh, do it until you have 25 ice creams, please. I don't know how much this makes. Uh, but it's going to take some sugar, some chocolate, and either some milk or soy milk. I'm fine with either. Honestly, would I rather have them use soy milk? We're running pretty low on regular milk, and that's because we're making smoothies. Uh, I don't want to do 100 smoothies anymore. I would rather do it down to 25 smoothies. And are we making soy milk? Let's make some soy milk, too. We're probably going to have plenty of beans. Where do we make this? Over over here? Are we making soy milk? We're not. Make soy milk. Do it. Because I said so. 
do it until you have, I guess, 50 soy milk. This is going to clutter up our fridge even more, but that's okay. Uh, we'll make soy milk last. It's not going to be huge priority. We have proper milk. Okay, we won. That was a little scary for me, but we won. All right, we really need the cloth to come in. And I, I'm totally understanding how cold it is right now uh, there, but here also. By here, I mean in the real world, which I guess this is the real world because everyone knows video games are pretty much real life. Um, <laughs> it's a, I woke up and it's like a brisk 45 degrees outside. It feels really good. It feels amazing. Walked around outside in some shorts. Neighbor thought I was crazy. It's okay though. It's okay. I don't, I, I'm really not going anywhere with this. If you're expecting some sort of better story, I just, I don't have one. It's, it's nice. It's, whenever it's cold in Florida, it's great. It's lovely. I hate Florida weather so much. <laughs> it's like, it's either cold for a few days out of the year, or it's really hot, humid, and rainy most of the time. And it's just like, ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Lolly, what, what are you working on? We need to get a name for you. That's the most important thing. Uh, you like doctoring, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to put you up to a two. You can flick switches. Handling things. I don't think that's going to happen either. You really like growing and mining. So you might as well grow stuff. Mine stuff. Hull stuff. Clean stuff last. Uh, and then work on some construction and repairing. As well as plant cutting. There you go. There you go. You even got that super sexy cowboy hat. Look at that. An excellent quality devil straighten cowboy hat with the duster. No top. Because a top wouldn't be as classy. We have turrets here. Did I build just too many turrets? These are all placed. Were these in preparation for this? Did I plan ahead? Oh my goodness. I think the world might end. You know, this could actually work out. We could put uh, a little door type area over here. A little airlock-ish type place. Uh, and then have another little bunker right here with some some guns in it. I don't know where I would actually connect the power up for these. Or the switch, rather. I wouldn't really want to switch the turrets in the prison. That seems unreasonable. That the prisoners would have that level of defense on them. That they can choose to either kill incoming or let them live. I don't, I don't like that. Um... But we'd have to do some weird wiring to get a switch to control these turrets. I guess I could run like a wire from over here all the way through this section and then move this wire up through here and make these proper walls? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is Lolly needs a name. So I'm going to pause the recording right here and I'm going to grab a name and I'll be right back. Alright. Welcome to the colony. Are he David? That's that's not it. That's David. It's Are he David? Welcome to the colony, Are he David, with that stylish cowboy cap or hat, if you prefer. If you prefer. Now I said we were going to be working on these structures. I didn't necessarily lie, but so far that just hasn't worked out. I don't know what I want to build them out of. Stone would probably be best because it's on an exterior wall. This out of wood, I'm fine with because these turrets are covering it. But at the same time, we would have a turret here covering these. So, I guess there's really no reason to not make them out of wood. Do we... What? How much wood do we have? We have a lot of wood. I feel like we should continue building things out of wood. Hopefully you guys are okay. With wooden little cabin thingies. I would... I would hope. We'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. We're gonna go ahead and let the construction begin. Uh, probably not gonna give you guys carpet in here. Just because... Well, we're already short on cloth. We'll talk about it. Maybe we'll give you guys wood to begin with, or stone to begin with, and then we'll give you guys uh, maybe some super lovely rugs, like we're doing up here in our, our singles homes. Um, <laughs> it, just, it feels weird calling them that. Uh, now, we do need some sort of pathway. I think what we could do is actually make a wall that just goes along right here. But then that would kind of break up this turret fire. Although they can actually barely only reach over there. So I think having the wall here would be fine. We have a wall that goes up here and then just kind of wraps around behind. And then we can put uh, a really small little like pillbox bunker type thing here. 
I think that'll work out. So let's deconstruct this. I'll go with limestone. I'll do the limestone thing. Uh, structure, wooden wall right here. And then also let's go ahead and get our marble wall over here. And then we'll just kind of wrap this around a little bit like so. I might bring it all the way over. I'm not really sure yet. We have enough for it. It would probably be the best thing to do, honestly. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So we'll get that going. These guys are going to get some houses in here soon. Let's go with some... Now, again, this is going to kind of suck because we're going to have to do the, uh, the coolers and heaters for everyone. Which, I might just decide to build them on an as-needed basis. Like, if we get a, a heat wave, build some coolers in real quick. If we get... Like, basically just waiting until, uh, until they're needed before I put them in. That's why I really like doing these... Uh, modular type homes. I know they're not keeping it that warm. I may actually consider putting another heater in here. Let's actually just crank it up to like 80. So instead of it trying to keep it 70 in here and then they're only like 60 in here, let's let's make it a little warmer in the main room. That's kind of working. It's getting there. It's getting there. Are you guys getting the slept in the cold debuff? You're not. So it's okay. It's okay for right now. Uh, we'll leave it like that. We may put another heater in there in the future. These guys up here need some stuff, but before we move people in, I really want to get the embrasures down. Uh, let's go and just do them out of marble. So we'll have them come up like this, and I'm probably just going to do one, two, three. So we'll bring you over like this. And then probably just cap off the end, I guess. Actually, I might just leave it open like this. So we can do one, two, three, and then we'll bring it back over. So I'm not necessarily going to have people in here defending this, but I'll just, for right now, we'll leave it open. I think it'll be okay. So instead of doing one, two, three, we'll kind of put them in the corners over here. Visitors, welcome to the colony, visitors. Uh, we do have some turrets that we can go ahead and set up. So let's go ahead and install these guys over here. That way it's nice and safety for anyone that wants to hang out in this section right now. That's actually okay. I keep hitting R to rotate and it's not working out for me. Just did the uh, the Timber and Stone episode. There we go. And we'll put you... Uh, and I'll put you here, I guess. I don't know. One reason I want them here is so they can just focus fire on this position, but that doesn't necessarily make sense. So we have one, two, three. Okay, so it, it does kind of work out, sort of. I do want to change the floors a little bit. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's remove... Let's remove these floors. We can actually go under here and remove these floors, which is interesting. Alright, and then uh, probably just fill it in with concrete, to be honest. Let's do, uh, let's do paved tile. Let's do a paved tile ring and concrete in the middle. There we go. Alright, so now these guys are almost secure. We need to connect this up to the power. Uh, so we could run see how can we do this I guess what we could do is run power up through the top wall through the wooden wall to power the prison area and then for this uh, this section as well as this section over here we could run power through this wall and have a switch over here in this area I think that might actually work out uh, pretty well so let's run power down here through this wall I kind of want to move it in like in here I might just double layer it uh, but move it in through there that way, in case something happens to the wall, this will be fine. But we'll uh, we'll go ahead and do this. That should connect all of these up. That should be in range. If that explodes, let's actually cancel that and we'll see how that goes. Cargo pods. Meat? Hey, thank you. Thank you for the pork delivery. That's actually quite wonderful. Uh, so then up here, we'll go ahead and wrap this around like so. We'll mine this section out. I still haven't really been trying to recruit people from the uh, the prisoners. I do feel a little bit bad about that. Let's mine this out for right now. Let's see. I guess what I could do is we could actually just straight up leave this alone. 
Let's see. I need to come in behind him, like, immediately so I remember where everything goes. <laughs> so that went like that. That went like that. That. There we go. Rare Thrombos. Uh, we may be able to do something with that. Can we tame? Yes, we can tame. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, so we're going to try to tame some Thrombos. That'll be great. Oh, that actually really excites me. Uh, so I think what we might do instead is run... Just bring this wall out here. And then we can run power through that and then have that go up there. And then we'll run uh, the power cable... I guess through this back section. All the way through this back wall. And that'll also connect to this one up here. These guys can't reach that power cable, which is unfortunate. You guys can't reach it, can you? No. I don't want to put it any closer just because it could break. So I guess I'll put it like... Not that I'm anticipating something breaking. Here, we'll do, we'll do this. We'll cancel that, we'll do that. That should connect all of them up to that point. So then this will run... Let's see... Instead of doing this... Where can we put that switch? I'm thinking about putting it right here. I guess we put it there? I guess if we put the switch right there, we can run the power here, run it through to through the door right there, and then we'll deconstruct that, and it'll bring power up through here. So it'll go like, power switch there, we'll have a little bit of power out here, and then this can also run all the way along this wall right here, and then we'll deconstruct these power conduits right here. Alright, so then that's going to run all the way over here. This is going to get connected up like that. We need more marble walls over here. I think this is going to work out pretty well. Uh, we'll bring you in right there. Like so. Those guys need to get hauled away. We still need a light in there. Actually, yeah, since I built the wall, I'm going to go ahead and run power through the wall. I know I could just go for the, the deconstruct button, but I just, hey, I started <laughs> I started one way, I'm going to keep doing it that way. Uh, so we'll run this up through this area over here, like that. Um, we'll put, we might as well just move the lamp. Okay, everyone calm down with the lamp. We'll put the lamp over here in the corner. You have to store it first, don't you? You jerk. Um, <laughs> we'll put a rug down too. A nice, uh, I guess, a, a red rug. Right here. I could actually just put it... Double rugs. That would be interesting. Something happened. Did we actually get a thrumbo? I'm curious. Probably not. Uh, we didn't. That's okay. I wasn't necessarily expecting to. All of these are toggled on right now. This guy right here, I'm going to toggle off. And then we're going to run our power all the way up through this wall right here. So I need to actually go through this like that. Uh, and then we're going to mine out this section right here and then that one. And then we'll just wrap the wall around and then have another little bunker up in this section. And I'm hoping that if they're off, then it should be okay to, uh, like, they're not going to get just randomly attacked. But this is another area where I wouldn't mind putting a super fancy turret if we could find another one. The, uh, the charge blaster turret. I think this would be a pretty good section to put one because it's got, uh, it's got nice, it would, it would control this entire section, basically. So I think that would be pretty good. So we'll get all this stuff coming on in. Marble wall. Running straight across. Running straight across, great. Bring you in like so. 
And I feel a little more comfortable about this. That way the prisoners won't have control over their own... Uh, <laughs> over their own defenses, basically. Whole things... I guess I could have done limestone on that wall. Probably. Alright, so that needs to get done. We are actually running low on marble right now. We don't have much marble, so we need to haul some. And we're <laughs> running really low on marble that's just on the map as well. There's some marble. And here's some more marble as well. Alright, great. Uh, so this area over here, let's figure out what we're going to do with the floors and such. Uh, for the doors, I actually wouldn't mind having just plain old uh, limestone doors. I think that would look pretty good. Something happened. Did I not flick the switch? It says it's off. Oh, it's because I forgot to disconnect this part right here. Those things started dying fast. Oh, they probably need a heater in here, don't they? Oh no, these are heated sun lamps. We're gonna increase the heat up to 80 for these guys. They were probably getting a little bit cold. Actually, no, it's just this one. They started dying really fast. Wow. Okay, so now these turrets are off. This up here needs its power conduit ran all the way through. And we'll build our little pillbox type structure over here out of, I guess, just limestone because we have the most of it. Uh, and again, it's not going to be very big. I'm probably just going to do a, I guess, like a seven. Let's see, there's the center, so we'll go out like that and like that. That'll be fine. A five? We'll, we'll do the five. Uh, and then we're going to bring you... No, right there. And right there. Cancel these. We'll just do regular walls right here. Um, which is going to look a little bit weird now that this is marble. Should have done limestone all the way through. <laughs> uh, it'll, be, it'll be okay, I guess. I'll survive-ish. Hey, maybe we even leave this door open. That way the prisoners can see what's coming, realize that we saved their lives, and then join us that much faster. Probably not. Um, <laughs> probably not. Uh, let's see here. What kind of doors do I want? It doesn't necessarily matter what kind of doors I have in here. Uh, so we're just going to go with regular old wooden doors, I suppose. Right there. And then we need three more turrets. If we could get... Three more turrets, and we'll do one in the center, and then a couple offset on the sides. That should work out pretty nicely. I feel like maybe I should get rid of this one, too, and just do embrasures all the way around, just in case they're attacking from a different angle. I should. I really should. Uh, this needs to actually get mined out, and we'll run the power straight through the center. Which, actually, that's, that's close enough for them to connect. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to deconstruct all these and rebuild them with uh, with limestone embrasures all the way around. Mm, yeah. There we go. This is in. That's great. Zone area. Clear no roof. Make sure this is all roofed in nicely. Do you want to put a roof there? That's fine. Alright, uh, turrets are already done, that's great, let's install these guys over here, I'll put one there, I'll put one, I feel like I should put them back a little bit further, but also I feel like maybe I should stack them right next to each other, All right, I'll put them back one, we'll go back one, there we go, these will all get connected up right here, which will keep them off, until the time has come to use them now. I feel like I should go ahead and delete this right here. And that is marble floor. More floor, marble slab. Bring that all the way down to here. Excellent. Remove plans. Excellent. A light would be good over here as well. 
maybe a lamp just over here in the corner which is always gonna be off unless well no I can reconnect it to something else uh, I'll put you put you like right here how are we on steel we're kinda low on steel uh, we're also low on just random blocks so I should probably set up a, a haul order for some blocks because we went through all of that marble super super quickly uh, we'll just haul some of these guys over that way we at least have them stocked up ready to go whenever the time comes to get some marble coming on in. We got these rooms that are getting ready. What kind of floors do we want? I really like this uh, this wooden floor up here. I might do a little bit more of that. The mosaic wood floor. But also stone would be good. Uh, cloth, we're still waiting on cotton right now. So probably, probably not that. Um, we have a good amount of of limestone and marble stored up at the moment. Let's see. Honestly, let's just do let's just do the mosaic for right now. We have plenty of wood stocked up. We'll get that going. And for the the front door outside, we're probably going to do a limestone walkway going out here. So we'll bring you out and then kind of bring you through like this. And we'll uh, we'll see we'll see how we do with this. There we go. Feels good. Feels correct. Bring you all the way down here. Connect everyone's door up. Looks pretty nice. I like it. Uh, in the next episode, we're pretty much gonna keep working on. Well, what we're working on now, we're going to get beds in here. Uh, we're going to try to get furniture in here. Having the power run like this is going to be interesting. Actually, I guess what I can do is... Let's see. How could we do this? I can move... I can move this conduit in through an outer wall. No. This is going to be This is going to be interesting, guys. This is going to be a bit interesting. <laughs> we'll figure it out in the next episode, though, guys. That's going to be it for this one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.